all of mankind is crying. What must we do to be saved? Please save us economically. Save us. Families are concerned whether they can make it or not. We have tremendous deficits. Save us from terrorism and lawlessness. Crime, it seems to be everywhere. What must we do to be saved? Save us. People are lost without Christ. Do you see people every day separated from God with empty hearts, searching for something they don't know what it is? That ought to give us a new urgency. Our love for others is not just an emotional feeling. It is a concern which leads us to action. The words of Jesus challenge me as never before. Lift up your eyes and look on the fields. They're already white under harvest. I'm convinced that the greatest act of love we can ever perform for another person is to tell him about God's love for him in Christ. One message, Christ and Him crucified and risen again. our families, our friends, our neighbors, even people that we're going to church with. Many are lost without Christ. There's no other way for you to be saved. There's no other way for your sins to be forgiven except through the blood of Jesus Christ. There's an urgency because once you leave this world, you don't have another chance. The chance is here, the chance is now, the chance is today. God loves you. He made you, He created you, He wants to give you the opportunity to choose. There's a world out there that's dying right there at our doorstep. And the question is, what are we gonna do about it? I just can't sit back and do nothing. I told the Lord to take my life and He could spin me however He wanted to spin me. And that night I prayed that prayer, I meant it. Maybe a year or two later, I felt God calling me to go into full-time ministry. I was afraid people may compare me to my father, and, and I would always be a disappointment to people. And I just re realized oh, that wasn't my problem. My problem needed to be taking the gospel of Jesus Christ to the best of my ability. I want you to know that emptiness in your life, that big hole in your life, only God can fill that. There's power in the gospel. And that's what's important. Nobody could care less what I say. It's about what God says, and it's His gospel. God loved you so much that He sent His Son out of heaven to this earth on a rescue mission. Rescue mission. When you tell a person that Jesus Christ is God's Son, when you tell a person that He shed His blood and He took our sins to the cross, there's Holy Spirit-filled power in that message. When He stretched out His arms, nailed to that cross, he did it because He loves you. We have all these opportunities, but we may not have them tomorrow. The scripture says when you read Revelation that it's going to be more and more difficult as the day approaches. We're losing ground and we're losing it quickly because we're not being attentive to the freedoms that we have. The church has just a little window of opportunity in this country. We got to do something that's bold, something that's different. Let's use our resources, let's use our gifts, our talents to take this gospel message to the ends of this earth.